check this out. I feel like somebody dumped this here because this is not a part of the original installation. Come on, man, this place is over 30 years old. What's going on is Anton from AntonDaniels.com. I am here on the east side of Detroit visiting with a lot of out-of-towners and Metro Detroiters called the Heidelberg Project. So the Heidelberg Project is a project that was at its inception more than 30 years ago taken on by a guy named Tyree Guyton. Came back to the city around 1986 at a time where Detroit was experiencing some problems. One of the problems that it was experiencing was the crack epidemic, gang culture, explosion of drug activity within the city. Also throw into the mix an exodus of jobs, which obviously leads to poverty. And then on top of that, you had a lot of people leaving the city. So Tyree Guyton, under the guidance of his father, came back to the neighborhood and obviously he didn't like what he's seen. He's seen crack houses and drugs and burned down houses and basically a neighborhood that he loved but no longer identified with. What he came up with was the Heidelberg Project, which obviously is named after the street. It's a little bit more than a two block art project. And essentially what he wanted to do was take all of these discarded items and use it for a purpose other than displaying what was wrong with the city or the neighborhood at that time. So what you're about to see is a lot of volunteer work, a lot of artwork, give people a reason to visit this neighborhood outside of looking at what's wrong with it. Something a little different for the channel, but I think you'll appreciate it. I'll put a link to the website in the description if you guys are looking to learn a little bit more about the Heidelberg Project. You know what's so funny? A lot of people that live in the city know nothing about the Heidelberg Project. So if you live in the city, you live around the city, or you're looking to visit Detroit, I think this will be something that you'll appreciate and something you definitely want to take pictures of. All right, let's go check it out. So something interesting right off the bat that you're going to notice kind of stands out. You got to excuse the wind because I don't have a wind guard on right now. All of the new lights, the new lighting and the solar panel, despite the condition of the neighborhood and things. But obviously these are all former toys. This is a, a house that burned down. You can see the gas line and things like that. These were the uh, back steps. Obviously the basement that's frozen with water. You know, just as interesting as the art installations itself were, you know, the effort that it took in order to install some of this stuff is, you know, some of the urban decay that you see. It's just, that blows my mind, man. I don't know why, but no matter how many places that I've explored and abandoned buildings that I've been into, look at this. Look at the, see the old door, all of that's frozen. Everything just completely burned down. And then you got all of these toys on top, TVs. And I guess that could have been a possible chimney. And then the danger that it took to put this stuff up here. And somebody used to live here. You know what I'm saying? Like, I wonder if people, cause like I visited my old neighborhood and things like that. And I wonder if people come back and visit the place that they used to stay and what they think about it. Because these were the, the front steps. Cross the street to Mount Elliott and you head over into the, the thick of things of what the Heidelberg Project really is. Like people used to live here. And it's amazing that nobody, oh man, if that isn't creepy, I don't know what is. Despite the condition of the neighborhood that people don't mess with this stuff. Bottles inside of the bricks. I think these are uh, all car hoods. You can see that they all been rusted, so they've obviously been there for a long time. The thing that I want to emphasize also in this video is that some of the houses obviously 
mysteriously burned down. A lot of the houses burned down since the start and installation of a lot of this project. So one of the houses that burned down was the uh, Penny House. And I believe one of the other houses that burned down was the Motown House. This is partly a dedication to that and a rebuild of that. But yeah, it was a lot of houses that burned down. Look at all of these doors. And I guess because art is subjective and so much effort and work went into it that people didn't want to see it die. How does that stay up? What did they glue it? With the random boot right there on the head, on the mannequin head. And where do you find a random boat at? Definitely uh, obsessed with clocks and mannequins. <laughs> Look at all the trophies. You can see the painting on the streets. This is one of my favorites right here. I don't even know what kind of car this is, but you know, I really like older classic cars. Got the teddy bear and the driver's seat. Look how cool this is. It's crazy. The former house, see the wheelchair over there? The more you look at stuff like this, the more questions you have. Like, where did they get these from? And how did they get them here? What I'm walking by right now is the infamous polka dot house. We've been here since 1947, so we don't, and this is our neighborhood. This is where we grew up at. Mm -hmm. When we moved over here, when I, as far as I remember, when I grew up over here, it was so much over here. We yeah. had to do so much. Yeah. I mean, we had the corner stores, the pool room. We had the bakeries. Yep. We had the fish markets. Yep. The five and nine store, the movie theater. It was, you didn't see a vacant house or anything. Ain't that funny here. how things change? Yes. And my great grandma, they was the second black couple to move on the block. Wow. Because everybody over here was Italian and Germans. Yeah. Italian yep. and Germans. And just imagine. In 1947, they moving over here, and they are black couple. Yeah. This is our neighborhood. I love it. I'm not going to. We we just stuck it out through the bitter, sweet, the highs, the lows. Yep. Because if you love something, you love your neighborhood, you're going to stick it out. That's true. Yeah. So. See all the burned up wood. It's actually kind of sweet. I really like that. And this is the infamous numbers house that's supposedly under renovation. See all the old shoes. Again, it's hard to even fathom that a lot of this has been up for over 30 years. <laughs> I don't even know what this is. See if we can find some uh, New Balance 407s or some Air 1s up here. I don't see anything. And what better way to highlight a tree planet than right here outside of the sunroof of some car that I have no idea. I don't know what this is. Is this a Suburban, an old Suburban? An old Jeep? I know it certainly looks like it took a lot of effort to bury this. Again, they say art is subjective and I agree with that. This is one of the newer installations. Yeah, this is definitely one of the newer ones. They got the painted tires, more clocks, and more buried tires, and a skate ramp. At least I think that's what it is. Obviously somebody's been here. 
decided not to clean up after themselves. As I walk through here, just a couple more points that I want to make during the 90s and I believe the early 2000s. The Heidelberg Project and the people that owned it and worked on it was kind of battling with the city because the city obviously disagreed with all of this. When you finish the number house, it's going to be our gallery, yeah. our office. I see the new roof on the numbers yeah. house over there. Yes, it's gonna, it's gonna be it's gonna be outstanding when they finish with it. They, that was they, one of the first things I noticed when I walked up to it was the new roof. roof. Baby, that's the good stuff. Yeah, yeah. And then when he when he finish up there, you know, he's, it's gonna be our gallery in there, uh -huh. our office, uh -huh. and he's gonna also have the basement where he's gonna have some some art classes for the kids in the neighborhood. That's pretty awesome. Because our kids in the neighborhood, they have too much time on their hands. Yeah. And they have nothing to do. They didn't close down most of the rec. We got one rec center left out of six around here. And that's, it, it don't make any sense. So they got time on their hand. And Tyree said when they have too much time on their hand, they end up what? Getting in trouble. Yep, that's true. So he wants to put paint brushes in their hands, take out them guns, sticks, knives, whatever. And just let them know they can, they can do something positive. Everything's not negative around here. Yep. Sometimes it's the road that we choose to go down. That's true. So that is the Heidelberg Project. I appreciate you guys for taking this tour with me. You can holler at me at AntonDaniels.com. Of course, I'm posting additional pictures on Instagram and a live viewing of everything that's happening in my life generally happens on Snapchat. Hope you liked the video. Hope you appreciated it. And uh, I got my uh, special rock courtesy of... Melody, who is the sister of Tyree, and I got to get up out of here. So I appreciate you guys again for checking in and, and watching this video. Make sure you subscribe and like the video because obviously that helps bring more visibility. Share it with your friends if you really enjoy it. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're new and you haven't subscribed yet. Again, holler at me at AntonDaniels.com. I love you guys. I appreciate you. I'll holler at you later. Peace.